many, life may seem like a random act of chaos at times. But you know what? It really is far from random. Actually, everything we are involved here on the planet has a systematic pattern to it. Some may look at those patterns through mathematical um, calculations, or maybe the movement of the stars, or maybe the backing of the universe and our spiritual helpers. So through my life, I have developed a recipe. And this recipe I started working with many years ago, decades ago, when I was what I'd call unconscious <laughs> to what was really going on. And these days, when I'm more conscious, I'm still using that same recipe. So today I want to share that recipe with you and give you a little insight on how you can really put together for yourself an amazing way to move through life with more enthusiasm and really having that purpose and that backing from spirit that's going to give you the energy to do exactly what you've come to do every single day. So my recipe is something that I really started and I thought back to when was the first time I really embrace this recipe. And honestly, it was when I went in the military. So I'm going to go back to then. So it was 1986. I was 17 and almost um, two weeks from being 18 when I went in the military. And at that point, I had no idea about anything spiritual, except for the fact that my mom and my grandmother and them saw um, ghosts and dead people <laughs> around in different places we lived. So besides that part going on, I really had no idea about how to work with energy or that I'm a soul or any of the stuff that I talk about a lot these days and, and the differences between now and then. So being unconscious, the, the thing that at that moment, when I went in the military, I had a feeling for it. So that's the first part of this recipe and, and working with this unseen parts of you is getting a feeling for what you're going to be doing. So the feeling came over me and the feeling was, it's time to leave. I need to get on with my life and it's time to go. So once I had that feeling, part two around the recipe is creating it and planning. So really using your intellect. So for myself, I had that feeling that it's time to leave and I, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to go. And how do I do that? Well, it just so happened at that moment that the recruiters came on to our high school and had a big presentation. I went to this presentation honestly, and this is again unconsciously, recognizing that I wanted to be out of class for a few hours. And hey, what's a better way to get out of class for a few hours but to go to some kind of presentation? And at that moment, I wasn't going, I'm going in the military, but I was just like, I'm getting the heck out of class for a couple of hours. So, <laughs> so off I went to this presentation and during it, Again, I started feeling, hey, there's something here. And I think I'm going to take that, what's called the ASVAB test, which is basically a, a preliminary test that you take and then you're scored on it. And then they decide, you know, did you pass or not and which, and which um, organizations want you. So I took the test, not even studying for it. And the first people that came back was the Army because I passed for the Army. And I'm like, no, I actually want to go in the Air Force. So I had to retake the test. And then landed, found myself landing into the Air Force and going, you know, that way after high school ended. So once I had that feeling that it was, this was game on, I definitely had to do that creating part and planning on how to move forward with this. And the third part is moving into action. So taking action on what you want to do in life. And that's the part about, I left. Yes, I left my home, I went into the military, and onward I went. So having this recipe and accessing this ability to really feel, create, plan, and move has shown up again my entire life. There's not been anything that I haven't had this happen. Well, maybe some that I haven't had it happen, but as far as being aware, these are the keys that I found for myself that work. So, you know, some people might be more in their intellect and they might think and think and think and then move and they have little feeling behind it. So what I have found is that truly there is power in having that feel first. So here's another scenario back to now the time I'm in where I am more conscious of what I'm doing and conscious energetically of how I feel into things and how I move from, from that feeling. So back in 2017, when I met Tom, there was a feeling that came over me that, hmm, I know this person. 
And that feeling kept growing and growing. And once that feeling started growing, there was obviously a plan when I got back home to be with Tom and to leave my situation and to move on. And, and then I took the action a few days later, said, I want a divorce and off I went. So understanding that the feel comes first, it really helps a lot because that feeling for, you know, this is, this is what I want to do. This is not for me. This is not what I want to do. And really recognizing when you get that feeling before you really start, before you really start creating and planning and also before you move into action can really be really, I think the recipe to success. And I, I mean, I've noticed that for myself. And even when I was unconscious, all the times in my life when I've done this, when I felt it, I created and planned it with my intellect and then moved into action. And I guess this comes into the fact that, you know, that really nothing here is random, that everything has a systematic pattern to the plans of what we're going through. And as souls, we have the ability to make choices. We have the ability to be able to really feel into what we're doing, then, then, and then organizing it into our intellect and then moving into action. And whether or not a person decides to go that way is really up to them. And also it's up to where they're at energetically, because again, for decades, I mean, I really just did this innately. So that's one thing too, that I really want to pinpoint is that for many people that don't understand about their energy or that we have spiritual support from our guidance um, or how to work with our, our four you know, psychic perceptions, it innately comes through us. So you might know people that are not spiritually awake or aware, but yet they move like this. And isn't that beautiful? Because that's how I moved before I even understood it all. So coming into this world in this lifetime, we have these unseen parts of us, these abilities to really access that feel, create, and then move into action. And when we can do that innately, unconsciously, and or consciously, it can really make a big difference in your life. So I just wanted to share that recipe today um, because I'm really in a place right now where I, this is how I roll. I mean, I just feel it. I, I, you know, plan and create it and then I move into action and recognizing the, the power behind this recipe can be, well, I'll say it a game changer for you, my friend. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, mini morsel episode of Spiritual Enthusiasm. And if you like this, please make sure that you share it with others who may enjoy hearing some um, spiritual insights. Also like and subscribe. And if you're on Apple, we would love it if you could please leave um, a little review for us. We would appreciate that so very much. And until next week, just remember that life is too short to not be enthusiastic about your unique journey. To keep the enthusiasm going, please like, subscribe, or comment below. We would love to hear from you.